want to welcome you back to Black Side Sports. Tonight, we're going to talk about the NFLPA fires independent doctor involved in treaty Todd Tucker Lavua injury. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. The NFLPA has made a stance and they have fired a doctor, an unaffiliated doctor. I'm going to read this article from the USA Today. The NFL Players Association fired the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant who was involved in treating Miami Dolphins quarterback Tyler Tugalovua after he was injured during Sunday's game against the Buffalo Bills. The NFL PA representative confirmed the independent doctor's dismissal Saturday to the USA Today Sports. Both the name UNC and the Dolphins team doctor were interviewed Friday, the day after Tugaluva was again injured and had to be taken to the hospital after hitting his head in a loss to the Cincinnati Bengals. According to the league, every unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant is selected and credentialed by the Players Union and the NFL head. Neck and spine committee, they are tasked with helping the team's medical staff identify concussions. Here's a tweet from Twitter. The NFL of Players Association has fired independent doctor who cleared Dolphins quarterback. Tyler took a little concussion protocol during the Bills game last Sunday. The UNCs are also independent of the teams that they are working for and can at times call for the stoppage of a game if they suspect a player has a head injury during every NFL game. There are two UNCs one on each sideline. The concussion protocol stipulate that players who have gross motor instability can return to the field of play if the instability wasn't neurologically related. So basically, the NFL PA has put their foot down before the NFL investigation. They have basically said, you got to get the hell up out of here after your shoddy performance as a medical practitioner. Hell, I believe his license should be taken. If he can't tell us a damn concussion and I'm sitting on, on the, my damn couch as a Bills fan watching this man stumble around, who's got the real problem? Hell, he went to school for eight, nine, ten years and he still can't tell that was a damn concussion? He has a serious problem. And he put this young man's life in jeopardy, his career, his generational wealth, in prosperity, all could go all down because of this dumbass doctor. This doesn't make any sense right here. But I'm glad the NFLPA is finally working for their players and not working for the owners. Because Tyler Tugaluba deserved better. He should have got better from his fellow players, his head coach, the team physician, the team trainer. All these people should have stepped in and said, this guy shouldn't be on the field after after the Matt Milano hit uh, in Buff against Buffalo in Miami. But to put him in against Cincinnati, that was gross negligence. And somebody had to be fired after what you just saw Thursday night. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side Sports. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.